Hello, hello, this is Mr. Chabry. Here we are with some more Pokemon battles. We've got a wonderful team. We're facing someone that has a really good team, except for Lugia, who is, of course, a legendary. But I do think uh, Darmanitan would be a nice lead. Um, yeah, I think that would be a nice lead. I do want to stop Galvantula from setting up webs. I think that's more than likely what's going to happen. Um... Eventually, it would be nice to bring, like, a Magic Bounce Pokemon. So I don't have to worry about Sticky Webs as much. But we're going to jump in this battle. Get some stuff going. Let's see what we got going on today. Uh, of course, I'm leading off with that Darmanitan. Let's see what our opponent leads off with. My Govel, which is going to be Galvantula, of course. Um, I'm just going to Flare Blitz this thing because I... I mean, it's probably Sashed. Yeah, it's probably sashed. Not much I can do in that regard. But at least I could take it out. Yeah, it's sashed. Yeah, we're gonna see. Thunder Wave, okay. That really shuts down our Termanitan. Really, it does. Uh, I'm just going to throw another Flare Blitz at it. Uh, I don't think it does much for us. I was hoping to get a burn on this thing. That would have shut it down where it wasn't able to at all. But we're going to see a switch out, which is actually nice. Thanos comes out. It's going to be this guy. Hey. I have an easy switch. My own Swamp. Oh, and Swampert. That's actually good damage, too. You know. Dermanitan actually does put out a bunch of damage. Even on uh, Pokemon that resist. Um, actually, Tangrowth would be a nice Pokemon. But I do want to get Rocks up so we don't have to worry about Galvantula. So I do think it would be best to go into our own Swampert here. Flip turn. Okay. Flip turn ahead. Uh, um, what does our opponent have to handle? This probably Galvan Galvantula. Is I'm telling you guys, this thing has Energy Ball. It's got to have Energy Ball. The unfortunate thing is, I can't just you know stay in because of that. I'm gonna I'm going to f the turn. No, oh. can't lose this thing. Um. Let's go Caesar. If we do see an energy ball, we can easily bullet punch. That's an easy bullet punch right there. There's no way we're going to see a thunderbolt. Okay, there's the energy ball. Okay. Nice, nice. We'll throw out um, a bullet punch so we can stop this thing from setting up webs. I do not want to see webs on my field. I don't want to see that. All right, we're trying to keep that from happening. Out will come. This thing, the Incineroar. I've used Incineroar plenty of times. I know what it can do. Well, how much of a threat it can be. So right now, we're kind of reactionary, and we need to go on the more offensive. So let's... Let's actually go into something that can threaten Incineroar a little bit better. Uh, Swampert's probably the best bet anyway. Obviously, probably the best bet. Um, starting shot. Okay, my opponent. So it seems like my my opponent's plan of attack is to just keep switching out, trying to keep some form of momentum. There's no way I stay in here. I go Caesar, and then I'm going to go for my own U-turn, is what the plan is. That's what the plan is. Instead of bullet punching here, I'll just go for U-turn. There's Thunder Wave. Alright. Making that prediction, unfortunately, on me. 
I mean, there's not much I could do because I, I can't just stay in. But we'll go for a U-turn here. Get a slow turn out. So that way we can at least start putting some momentum onto our opponent. Please don't be fully paralyzed. Please don't be fully paralyzed. Thank you. All right, let's get some let's get some momentum going. Let us go. We'll go Swamper and get rocks up. That's the plan. That is the plan. Rocks all the way. Yeah, I would love to get rocks going. Hmm. Would flip turn actually be better? Because my opponent could easily... My opponent actually has an immunity to water. So we got to play a little bit... Uh, a little better. Okay, you're out here. You more than likely do have defog. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you've got defog. Huh. This would be a good time to have a competitive Pokemon. A Pokemon competitive. That'd be good. Uh, we'll go into Darm and then Flare Blitz. Just get a big knock on something. Because that Swamper actually takes a lot of damage from our Flare Blitz anyway. And that's alright, we can't burn. That's the first turn I was like, oh, I would love to get a burn, but no, there's we got sheer force, that's right. Alright, we'll go for a U-turn. We'll play your game. We'll play your game. Out comes Thanos. Please don't be fully paralyzed. Thank you. Eat a berry. You've got a berry, don't you? Alright, let's see here. Let's go ahead. Go Tangrowth and go Knockoff. I think that's our game plan right now. Because I don't have much of anything else to do. Really don't. And it's obvious that you're not staying in. Could go Earthquake, catch the Incineroar off guard. I think Knockoff is probably a better play. It's it's obviously the better play, because Corviknight could easily be the switch in. Alright, you're out here. What item do you have? Black Sludge. Oh, you're more of a defensive set. Interesting. We're going to just EQ here. Swords Dance, of course. Trying to get a sweep on me, it seems. Let's go ahead and EQ. Almost. Almost took it out. I could easily go Caesar here. Hmm. Yeah, Caesar. I'm predicting a Sludge Bomb. Or not a Sludge Bomb. The uh, Gunk Shot. That's what I'm predicting. Gunk Shot. There we go, there we go. We've got Bullet Punch. Bullet Punch for the win. We also have U-Turn in the back. Did you just DC? Did that prediction make you DC? Yeah, we're still connected to the internet, so our opponent DC'd at that. Our opponent was making the 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 U-Turn pivots, and when we start making U-Turn pivots, our opponent... DC it on that. But yeah, that was actually a really good play. We could have bullet punched there. Um, we could have U-turned. I would probably have bullet punched because I, I would not want to risk a Toxicroak just, you know, chilling with a plus two. So we would have taken that out if our opponent stayed in. If not, we would have just switched and played the switch game until, you know, we've got a matchup that we actually liked. So anyway... Uh, I would count that as a win for us since our opponent did DC. Uh, anyway, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. 
subscribe, and I will see you in the next Pokemon video.